Mr. Yo, on the other hand, playing as the Mongols, another very, very strong civilization. Not as strong as the Chinese in terms of the eco, obviously not starting with six villagers, not getting the discount on their upgrades, but getting extra food from uh, Hunt, and Mr. Yo is going to use that bonus now and push in his zebra. Um, they're also getting extra, extra line of sight on their scouts, which helps with uh, laming if you want to go for that. Someone did that to me today. Uh, in my first game on the ladder today and I just resigned after five minutes because I just I wasn't dealing with the chat didn't want to uh, deal with that shit So yeah, mongol players in my experience are incredibly annoying and obnoxious, but there it is um, What else about mongols? Um, they get arguably the best unit in the game with the mangadai it takes a long time to upgrade them a lot of time to get into them but uh, can be incredibly strong units um, they get camel as well. Chinese are getting camel too. Um, they're getting incredibly, incredibly good siege uh, with their drill onagers, drill siege onager, siege ram. Definitely, Mr. Yo is capable of taking a win here. And they have good archers, good cav archer, strong civ all around. Um, definitely can go for their like cav rush, not cav rush, scout rush early on with that f extra food that they take in. Not extra food, but they take in the food faster. And yeah, they will just gobble up these zebra. And Mr. Yo gonna push all of them. And yeah, feeling pretty good here. He's gonna go back out and push this last ostrich by the looks of things and take in his uh, elephant. He has found all his sheep as well. So great scouting by Mr. Yo. Hasn't scouted his opponent yet, but that's uh, that can come later. He has that extra line of sight, so it's easier to find the. Uh, it's easier to find your opponent anyway. All right. Villager gets garrisoned. Oh no, did he kill his elephant? He killed his elephant, Mr. Yo. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Disaster for Mr. Yo as he shoots his elephant. So yeah, he's going to really be missing out. He, well, good thing he's pushing all this stuff now, but you could see he messed that up, right? He garrisoned the villager. Yeah. I think what happened there was he had the right amount of villagers, then garrisoned. Then he realized that the villager that was luring the boar was like really vulnerable. So he garrisoned her as well. And she shot as well, and that's what killed the boar. So, yeah. Not ideal there. And here comes Nikov. Uh, both these players going to... Red, well, they're both qualified for Red Bull. Whether Mr. Yo makes it there, I don't know. Uh, we don't know yet. But people are saying... People in the chat today were pretty pessimistic about that. So, I don't know if that's based on anything that's come out. Or whether it's just the general feeling that Mr. Yo won't be making it to Heidelberg. But hopefully he can. Nikov will be there, obviously, competing in Age of Empires 2 and Age of Empires 4. Uh, with Age of Empires 2, I guess, being his priority. But yeah, that says something about how good this guy is, that you can qualify for both of those games. Anyway, Mr. Yo coming out to take Sto... Nikov saw those villagers. If he had seen them walking out this way, he could have scouted around and checked for stone. But I don't think he spotted that. I don't think he spotted that. Um, so he's not going to have that information. So just missing out on that there. Me, Mr. Yo, I guess, wants to go for towers. This is what he's telling us. Yeah, this is telling us as well that he's going for towers. Missing all that food. So maybe he had to change his mind. Um, where is he going to drop this tower? There's a nice spot for a tower just in here. This one tile. I'm going to go for a house instead. You can't build towers until feudal age. Um... He's almost spoiled for choice here, but it's almost like it's going to be tough to get these towers down, right? Because there's villagers here, there's villagers here. If they all decide to just r race this tower down, it feels like it could be really sc scary. Okay, he's going to go for walls here as, yeah, Nikov tries to charge it down. Mr. Yo will block this. Will he? Just gets the palisades down. And yeah, just like that, the game becomes absolute mayhem. Scout is back here for Nikov. Mis uh, Nikov not yet in uh, feud late, so his scout will be weaker than uh, Mr. Yo's. As he tries to batter down this house. Oh yeah, yeah, if this tower goes up, it's kind of big. But Mr. Yo needs to repair the house. Mr. Yo, repair the house. As Nikov goes for a counter tower, but no chance. No chance. Uh, that's actually just a mistake, I think, from uh, Nikov. Just delete this, I think. No? Yes? No? Maybe not. <laughs> Don't listen to me. It's not a mistake. Valorant. Whoa, you got me confused with Nikov AoE4. Had to check. It's Kapoch. It's Kapoch. Ah, shit. It's Kapoch, right. Okay, not Nikov. Never mind. How's it going, Valorant, by the way? Hope you're doing well. Sorry, chat. It's uh, it's Kapoch. Don't listen to me. Only listen to 2K players like uh, Valorant. 2K+. Plus. 
scout goes down. So yeah, yo, getting the scout kill. His scout is also dead. But his eco is not good. Mr. Yo, idle TC time. Oh, it's just lost villagers. No, they haven't. Nobody has lost a vill. Don't listen to me. Nobody has lost any villagers here yet. How is that possible? Uh, Mr. Yo gonna wall in his vill. But uh, I think uh, Nikov can ungarrison his vills inside here and then kill this vill. I think that's the play, is it? I don't know. Batters down that palisade. Batters down this palisade. Now he's gonna try to kill this villager. Oh yeah, yeah. Now trying to batter down this house to get at this tower. Absolute mayhem here at the start of this game, of course. Mr. Yo shot his uh Mr. Yo shot his boar with the TC, and that sent him into a, a rage, I think, and this is what we're seeing here. Okay. Okay. As Mr. Yo is forced to ungarrison his tower because of the damage and now repairs and hops back inside with two villagers. This tower... Yeah. Okay, so Mr. Yo actually got two kills. So Nikov's lead is still two because of idle time for Mr. Yo, but still. As Nikov trying to repair here, Mr. Yo I think is the master of tower plays. I can't remember who said it. It might have been Poop Lord <laughs> who told me that... Um, might have been Poop Lord who told me that Chinese players are so good at making it messy is that because in China, like, I don't know, in recent years or even a long time ago when the game came out, the internet was so bad that, like, and so laggy that, like, forcing players to react really quickly to towers was a really strong play for that reason. And that's why Chinese players are better at messy tower stuff. Whether that's true or not, I have no idea, but that's what I heard. And I guess it kind of makes sense. Mysterio, a master of messy games for sure. And uh, Lix and all those guys as well. Super good. As yet, Nikov's going to come in, try and batter this down again. This tower is denying wood and berries. So, yeah. Behind this, Mysterio completely untouched. But this castle... This castle, this tower eventually goes down. Mr. Yo just gonna make a break for it with his villagers. I think this villager goes down. Um, if Nikov just micros here, he can get two vills, gets one. And Mr. Yo, I think, escapes with this one. So Mr. Yo gonna come home um, after that crusade. And yeah, this house will go down as well, eventually to the tower. And now Nikov's villagers go back to work as if nothing happened. And we carry on with the game. So Nikov is just gonna chase these guys the whole way. What's his plan? He's gonna go for a tower on his opponent. Barracks coming up for Mr. Yo. Barracks coming up for Nikov. Okay. So Nikov with the lead here still, but just one villager. Uh, his idle time creeping up a bit as he might lose a villager here. Uh, Mr. Yo trying to get this one, but can't quite. Uh, gonna micro his weak villager back. Does anyone have wheelbarrow? Yes, Nikov has wheelbarrow. That's kind of huge. So he can definitely uh, get some kills. Just needs to block. Just needs to micro. Yeah, block with this vill. And he can get a kill here for sure. Really clutch play by Nikov there getting wheelbarrow. Um, as we see a stable coming out for Yo. Okay, and Nikov just going to go for an outpost because why not? Doesn't really tell him anything. Uh, I think he saw all of this anyway. So it's just going to be full outpost from him. These four villagers just idle because outposts. Why not? Mr. Yo wanted to come out here to build something. He's going to go for... A, he was going to go for a tower, but instead... Saw that it was an outpost and changed his mind. Uh, he does not have wheelbarrow yet. Nikov has horse collar now. And Nikov is going to send some scouts out. Um, is he? Where are the scouts? Where are the scouts? Oh, they're not out yet. I'm just a moron. Yeah, the scouts are coming. The scouts are coming. Okay. As uh, this villager should just go home. Spear doing some fighting here. And it's messy as hell. Miss Yo gonna make some scouts. Nikov gonna make some scouts. And it's almost as if we've just arrived in Feudal Age and nothing has happened at all. Both players are opening scouts. Uh, yeah. Except there's some weird, uh, weird buildings around here. And some things are on fire. It's basically the same. As Nikov gonna wall in this villager to save it. Nice. Mysterio was uh, going around with his scout. Gonna run into the spear. Nice positioning by Nikov there. As Mysterio still on stone over here. I wonder if he's just forgotten about these villagers. Maybe. As yeah, he's adding farms. He's gonna add a uh, tower now. I don't know why he doesn't just fight this. Yeah, he's gonna fight it and build his own tower. Okay. 
Fair enough. Gonna fight these spears. Nikov deletes the foundation. Mr. Yo gonna complete this one. Has plenty of stones, so why not? Um, and yeah, maybe he's gonna look to play this into Mangadai if he ever gets up to Castle Age, but I don't see how he's gonna get there right now. Okay. So... Yeah. Spears going down for Nikov. How is Nikov transitioning here? Both players with big idle time on their TCs. Nikov... Yeah. Has wheelbarrow, has double good axe, has horse collar, Mysterio. Just missing wheelbarrow, getting it now. So they're gonna have pretty similar ecos here by the looks of things. And if Mr. Yo's goal was to even out the villager count by tower rushing, he did that pretty much. So well done, Mr. Yo. Uh yeah, Nikov. I don't know why he feels he has to do this with his villagers. Just because he only has a slight eco lead now. Doesn't necessarily mean that he's behind and yeah yoloing villagers under towers like this i don't really agree with it uh, but look i'm on k3 on a good day so <laughs> let's uh take nikov uh let's assume nikov knows what he's doing gonna go for another tower here uh mr yo gonna go for a counter tower uh again i don't know why mr yo doesn't just fight this i guess he doesn't want to idle his eco so much Mr. Yo could drop a market and sell some of that stone and maybe click up. Oh no, it's Nikov who has all the stone. Mr. Yo doesn't have as much. But yeah, both players really heavy on stone, maybe too much. And is there a market gonna go up here for uh, Nikov at some point? Not sure. Not sure. Okay, so yeah, Nikov's army just has to run away. He has some scouts here, adding archers now. Okay. But. Uh, I'm not sure how much damage he can really get with the archers. It looks like both players will have some towers up around their base. And uh, yeah, archers are not going to be fantastic. Even in the even in the next stage, the towers are really strong defensively. Can really slow down any siege aggression. And uh, yeah, kind of be anti-raid as well. So let's see. Nikov going to run around. I think he wants to check the main gold, see what's there. And yeah. Mr. Yo sees that coming and will get the walls up in time, surely. Mr. Yo, yeah, beautiful play by Yo there. Really weak palisade, though. Oh my god, Mr. Yo. Okay, that was just a jabate. Oh my god. Just wanted to, to jabate with the spear, but the spear is super weak. Oh yeah, yeah. I think Yo could have lost a few villagers there as he's going to go for a market finally. Fletching on the way for Nikov. What is happening over here? Oh, he's just attacking palisades. Okay. Did Nikov get a market yet? No, he didn't. I hope he realizes that he's not in castle age. He won't be able to drop a castle. I'm sure he's aware of it. As he walls in his vill on stone. But yeah, needs to drop some farms if he wants to get up to the next age. That's what he's doing. Over here, spears, archers, scouts all arrive. And Yo's going to get a tower up on his gold. Uh, archers probably going to go down. Scouts have to run away but get sniped by the TC. So yeah, from crazy aggression to crazy defense by Mr. Yo. Uh, these two villagers ahead. <laughs> Mr. Yo's two villagers ahead. Eco KD 7-3 in his favor. Just sniped another vill, did he? Oh yeah, yo, yes. Yeah, Yo getting damage in Nikov's base. So absolutely huge play by Mr. Yo. Gonna look for weak vills. Is this vill weak? It is now. And uh, this villager will also die. Does Mr. Yo have upgrades for his cow? No, he doesn't. Felt like the scouts were uh, maybe surviving a bit longer than they should have there. As uh, he builds this nice wall and is rewarded with two scout kills. Really nice. Weak villager here. If Nikov, if Yo has the presence of mind to snipe this villa, it could be very tasty. But instead, he's just going to run away. Yeah, keep your weak scouts alive. Use them to guard relics later on. And uh, yeah, both players somehow on the way to castle age. Just because you know, they're really good at the game. Fair enough. And yeah, Nikov streaming forward his archers. Uh, but I don't think there's any damage to be done. Uh, this whole area is covered by the archer, or by the towers, I should say, and archers will not do anything here, uh, except maybe deny these farms. Which uh, probably isn't what you want. So maybe we're going to see a castle drop from Nikov. And uh, where would that castle drop go? I guess here would be tasty. Uh, deny the gold and stop the expansion over here. Mysterio's other gold is here. So maybe Nikov wants to drop the castle here. He can deny the TC and also take the stone and the gold. If that's what he's going to go for. Look at the balance from Nikov. He's going to arrive in castle age with just enough to drop a castle. As we see him, yeah, denying this small farm patch where there's no uh, towers in range. 
Okay, where are these villagers, Nikov? I want to see them moving. Let's go. Now he has enough. Nikov, let's go. There's even, he even specifically chopped a little channel through the trees to send his villagers. Okay, Mysterio gets there first. It's okay, Nikov. It's still fine. You still uh, have map control uh, until the knights come out. Okay, so maybe now he can't drop a castle. The dream ends. Okay, you're going to get a TC up on the side here and look to boom this out. He'll be very happy with getting up to Castle 8 first. Nikov, you can tell that he wanted to drop that castle very badly, but now uh, can't. Maybe he should just sell his stone, drop some TCs. Going for camels and going for crossbowmen and bodkin. Still floating all that, uh, all that stone. Uh, yeah, he has to wall around Mr. Yo's house, but Mr. Yo can just uh, delete this house and run in, right? Is he going to do that? That would be very stylish. Uh, he would definitely get style points from me if he did that, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Nikov going to go attack with his crossbow and doesn't give a shit about the knights. Just going to, yeah, let it happen. Uh, and if he gets map control, we might even see him drop that castle as we see a defensive siege workshop from Mr. Yo. Hey, this has been a cool game. TC coming here for Nikov is a bit messy, but this will be kind of safe wood for him. Uh, Mr. Yo here with his knights. Nikov hanging around with spears. Okay, here comes Nikov. Mr. Yo with the scorpion on the way. Scorpion's cheaper than mangonels, but less devastating, let's say. Although the pros did go through a phase where they stopped making mangonels and started making uh, scorpions, just because people's mangonel, anti-mangonel micro was just too strong that no one was getting any hits with the mangonels so everyone started playing with skirmishers uh but that seems to have switched back to mangonels and maybe now it's switching back to skirmishers let's see as the spears go down and the knights will go to town on this house um gate would be weaker but we've seen players just attacking houses today so there you go he didn't want to break in he just wanted to be annoying as there could be holes here but there isn't okay uh so i guess there couldn't be holes all right, her TC coming up for Mysterio on stone, telling us he wants to get into Mangadai probably at some stage. Um, but let's see. Back here, Archer's finding somewhere to sit and do damage, but the tower is so strong in defense. Um, yeah, it's going to be really difficult for Nikov to do damage. He's finding some sneaky villagers out here. Let's see if Mysterio... Um, We'll try and save these Viper style. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, doesn't matter. Nikov doing some quick walls as well, actually. We have the remnants of the quick walls here. Maybe he's the second place in the villager quick wall leagues. Maybe Hera is good as well. I don't know. Viper is the goat, though. Okay, so now we're seeing defensive siege from Nikov. In terms of the map, there's this beautiful hill between them, which could be really important. Two hills, actually. And they're actually quite close together. I'm going to keep saying actually. They are really close together. Um on the map as we see the knights from uh, mr yo intercept uh here as the scout should take out the um the monk and does but all these um crossbow will go down to the knights so yeah mr yo in a great position after all is said and done after all the messiness he is uh in a better position nikov forced into going for camels never feels fantastic um they are a counter to knights but they're not that strong um against knights i mean they do counter them but to me i'm always underwhelmed at how my camels do against my enemies knights um what else do we need to say nothing really <laughs> nothing really so yeah forced to go into uh camels to defend yeah camels are just weak in general they take a million hits to kill monks they're not a fantastic raiding unit they can't sit under tcs very well the same as knights so yeah really situational uh, so not something you really want to be forced into but camels backing up uh, crossbow feels pretty strong when your opponent is going full knights okay monks trying to get some conversions here uh villagers gonna garrison inside the tc trying to get some shots but um not really helping too much yeah knights able to sit underneath here these knights do have plus two so we'll take very little damage from projectiles uh even though there is bodkin arrow here knight's still gonna do okay and yeah mr yo happy just to terrorize the eco here kill a few villagers he has 15 kills now which is kind of huge and he's seven villagers ahead 
Now just gonna run away. And uh, yeah, four TCs for Mr. Yo. Kind of insane. So getting himself into such a strong position, forcing not fantastic uh, eco decisions from Nico. So yeah, great play by Mr. Yo. Really great. Um, uh, yeah, Yo continues to make knights. And we'll sneak in with the relics. This will be number four. He already has three, which is insane. And it looks like he has the other relic in hand somewhere. I can't see it on the map. As here comes the castle drop from Nikov. Is this the right time? I think the knights could actually jump on this and deny it, to be honest. Especially if the monks are hanging around. He will spot this, will Mr. Yo. Um, what does he do? He's had some of his own camels, which just spanked that scout. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Manganel coming forward, so he will be able to take out this TC, no problem. Um, Knight's just gonna run in by the looks of things. Gonna be walled out though, so good. Quick walls by Nikov. Um, Mistrio getting his own castle up here. And now these villagers don't know what to do. They're gonna drop a TC on the gold over here. Fair enough. Uh, some of them are, some of them are gonna come back and then go that way and then change their mind and walk around. Okay. Uh, oh my god, did he almost deny that TC? We check that. One HP? No. Not close. Never mind. That would have been very stylish, denying a TC with a score here. Anyway, didn't do it. Okie dokie. So... What's happening now? Mysterio on the way up to Imperial Age. Um, making Mangadai. Okay. Mangadai strong. Nikov going for Chukanu. Very strong, unique unit for the Chinese. They are expensive to get into though, but a big ball of them can be devastating. I'm not sure how they compare to Mangadai in a 1v1 fight. Probably they lose 1v1. Uh, just because, I don't know, archers lose, archers lose to uh, have archer 1v1 anyway. Uh, so maybe, maybe that's why. <laughs> that was a very profound thought. Okay. What's happening now? We have castles up. Nikov nowhere near clicking up, so it might just be imp into GG. Uh, Mysterio will be able to get some trebs out. Push this, uh, excuse me, suppressing yawns here, causing irreparable damage to my throat. Uh, he's going to get some trebs out, push all of this back, push the TCs back. And it just feels bad for Nikov, so Mysterio going to drop a castle here as well. Needs to have the knight supporting this, because the crossbow could theoretically deny. How many villagers is he coming with? 12 villagers, okay. Knights here. I think he just wants to YOLO these knights. He doesn't care if he loses these. He just wants to get this castle up. He doesn't want to play knights in the late game. He wants to play Mangadai. And yeah, let's see. Mr. Yo, 40 seconds away from Imp. I think that might be the GG moment. He's on 100 bills. Nikov just lost one. Losing more now. Wow, big raids here from Yo. Big, big raids here from Yo. Um, okay. And yeah, this TC is denied. Mysterio wants his gold. Nikov calls GG. Yo, not even in imp. And yeah. Style points go to Mr. Yo. That was insane. That was really insane. <laughs> Make it messy for your opponent. Get a lead. Stay ahead. That's it. It's not like he just stayed ahead like by being passive after he got an eco advantage. He came and raided with uh, with knights. He was going to be active with the manga. So Mr. Yo just on another level.